Alright, so welcome back to another gun build uh, for another assault rifle. And this one, everybody, everyone knows, and I'm pretty sure just about every single player right now in Modern Warfare uses, or the, for the most part. Uh, it is the M4A1 assault rifle, the most commonly used gun, I guarantee you, for the assault rifle category, uh, besides the Growl and probably the Ram 7, which have pretty good stats as well. But this one, everyone loves because of just how the look of it, uh, or how it feels, I guess, and how, what the, and how good it looks. Today, I want to be turning it into the MPX uh, SMG. And this is one of the hidden gun builds, I guess, that came with the very uh, beginning of the game, because this is a, a base weapon that came with the game at launch, and probably people already figured it out by now, of course. But I'm going to be showing you how to build the MPX with the, with the M4A1. Now, this will give you pretty high fire rate, around 980 rounds per minute. So it's... Uh, little less than the Vector, I think, or a little bit more than MP7, which is the fastest firing SMG right now. Uh, or the Vector is really, that one has the highest one. The Vector has the second highest recoil uh, compared to the minigun. So this one is, I guess, in third place right now. Uh, so let's go ahead and start with the ammunition. We're going to turn it to the 9mm Para 32 round mags. Uh, this only is going to give you 32 round magazines, so do be wary of that. I mean, that's plenty of rounds to kill several people. Uh, but what this will do is give you fire rate. Of course, since it is just a lot smaller round, it will increase the fire rate for you a ton. And uh, recoil control uh, will go up because it's a lot smaller rounds. It doesn't kick as hard. The cons being damaged because it is a lot smaller round, it won't hit as hard. In the damage range it's a lot smaller round so it doesn't have you know the kind of force that needs to go at longer ranges it's an smg it's now built for like smaller uh close range engagements kind of or that's where you want to be playing that in this is going to be a, a more or less a cq uh c kind of gun or close quarter combat uh, so we're just going to kit it out for short range uh close quarter combat barrels we're going to go to the, actually the very first one uh, this doesn't really come that uh, it comes pretty early and the unlocking this is the FSS 11.5 inch commando uh, barrel which will give you aim down sight speed since it is uh, the smallest barrel you can get for it it'll give you increased movement speed because it takes off a bunch of weight uh, cons bolt velocity because it doesn't have that uh, the rounds don't have that kind of time to you know, speed up inside the barrel and cause being recoil control since it's you know again it's a lot smaller barrel but you're not going to worry about that too much because usually someone's going to be like a good uh, pretty close distance from you so you shouldn't worry too much about that for how you should be playing this now from there we're going to go into the stock and I would pick the forge tac CQS it just looks better for the assault rifle now this gives you the aim down sight speed, uh, mostly for the SMG kind of build for it. But you could run no stock if you want, and this gives you even more aim down sight speed and movement speed to fit more of the SMG style. Uh, cons being aiming stability, because uh, you don't have that stock now to you know try to steady your gun, and recoil control because you know you don't have a way for you to brace that gun now. Uh, so this makes it to where it's a lot more rushing. You can rush with it a lot more, but this one just looks better. <laughs> so it, if you just want to go with aesthetic, uh, aesthetically, I guess, uh, this is the one I would use right here. So I'm just going to use that for now in this build. Uh, for the optic, you can run iron sights for it, you know, to keep it to where it has a smaller uh, aim down sight speed. But I'm just going to run a reflex for it, I guess, for that little triangle there. And this is really the, essentially the whole build. If you want to, you can put on like a 5 milliwatt laser or an attack laser uh, to help out. Or you could take off the optic, you can throw on uh, the Merc 4 grip and then the 5 milliwatt laser. Now, the Mer Merc 4 grip is a grip that has been buffed several times without people knowing. Or until now, because people keep trying to 
uh, see if anything changes because every single update they don't tell you this but they do stealth buffs or stealth nerfs or updates in general uh, which will make certain things better certain things worse or just change things completely and the merc foregrip has been getting a ton now the merc foregrip tells you that it increases recoil control it is a grip so it should do that it gives you hip fire accuracy so that is the only attachment for the under barrel that will give you hip fire accuracy as you can see so that is pretty good for more of a rushing kind of play style because you know when people are really up close and you have a lot higher uh, chance of killing them in that kind of range so this is what I mean like it excels at close range combat cons being aim down uh, or aim walking movement speed and aim down sight speed because now it's a grip it does take off uh, or does put on a little bit more weight what this, is, this does not tell you is that it gives you more recoil control than anything else in the game now beforehand when the game first came out the ranger foregrip had the best recoil control uh, as you can see at the bottom it goes a little bit past the white line which is the base uh, stat for this assault rifle you can see in the control section for the stat there it is just like a little bit more for the green section so it tells you that it goes beyond the base uh, uh, stat for the assault rifle now, if I go to the merge foregrip it's right on the base line. You can kind of see it. It's like uh, somewhere like underneath it, pretty much, or behind it. it. Tells you it puts it back up at the base, but it is technically better than the Ranger foregrip. It does not tell you, but it is. <laughs> it has been stealth buffed several times. Uh, the Merc foregrip does increase your movement speed. They don't list that either. It, it doesn't increase it by a whole lot. I think by like two percent, so you can get like one or two extra steps in. Uh, a little bit faster so it's not that big but it's still there and it does help out the more of an SMG kind of build and I would either run a 5 milliwatt laser which increases your hit fire accuracy even more to now you can essentially shoot people with the same accuracy or almost the same accuracy as if you were aiming down sights with the gun which is incredibly incredibly awesome so now you will most likely laser anybody, you know, or shoot someone with almost extreme accuracy up close. So this is what I do recommend, or if you want to be more of like the snap-on to heads and stuff like that, run the tack laser, increases your uh, aim down sight speed a ton, aiming stability, which you don't need to worry about, and aim walking steadiness. The only, you know, con will be laser visible to enemies, and it's the same way for this one, but I'll be running the 5 milliwatt laser because I believe that is a, a little bit better. So this is essentially the build. We got the 9mm para 32 round magazines, the Merc foregrip, which increases recoil control, uh, movement speed, and hit fire accuracy by a pretty good amount. The commando or the FSS 11.5 inch commando, which gives you that more aim down sight speed or the more like the snap on. Uh, but it does get rid of the bull velocity. That is something that you have to take uh, take note of is the bull velocity for this gun since it is now an SMG It does not go as fast as a normal assault rifle now. It's still fast But it's not as fast uh, 5 milliwatt laser Give you more hit fire accuracy, and I believe that's and it, oh yeah, and it's print to fire speed as well The cons being laser visible to enemies now the 5 milliwatt laser how that works is anytime that you're not aiming down sights with your gun or you're like running around or anything like that it will uh, be on so any t kind of time that you just have your gun kind of like sitting at the hip so that's the only time that people will actually see the laser if you keep it uh, you know your gun ADS or aim down sight uh, it won't be on if you're sprinting with your gun straight up in the air it won't be on uh, so you don't really need to worry about that and that's why it increases sprint to fire speed by so by the time you pull your gun back down to shoot someone you have a way faster uh, response time and we're running the forge tax CQS stock on the back to increase aid and out sight speed to give you more of a snap on kind of build now what you could do is take that stock off for the attachment and you could run the stipple grip tape now this gives you ADS uh, speed as well and sprint to fire speed uh, cons being aiming stability it, this gives you more sprint to fire speed so now you're able to definitely like snap on the people when they come around corners to you know pull your gun up to fire and that kind of combos really well with the 5 milliwatt laser so if you want to run that uh, technically it does give you better stats than the CQS stock 
But again, for aesthetics, you could run this. I'm just going to be running this double grip tape because it is uh, technically more viable and I'm going to show you like the best you can possibly get out of this. So this is pretty much the build. Uh, we can go ahead and jump into a match and I'll show you how this thing works. Now it is pretty neat. I'll show you in game like the, the hit fire accuracy is pretty good. So let's go ahead and go to that, switch to the M13. Yeah. Not M13, Team M4A1. Now, aim down sights pretty well for, you know, now an SMG. The hit fire accuracy, as you can see, the reticle in the middle, that little white dot with the lines on the side. The closer those lines are to the dot, like this, this is a very tight recoil spread. And you can crouch and lay down to make it even tighter, like that where now essentially gives you a laser accurate gun doesn't look like it or it's not going to be as accurate as aiming down sights you will miss a pretty good amount of bullets but it's the closest you can get to it now I am running the frame timer like always uh, this just increases the aim down sight speed to where it's almost instant like that And again, don't be afraid to use this gun, you know, for hip firing in close range. Uh, it'll save you a ton of time and save your life several times over by just shooting from the hip. Because you know, you don't actually need to aim down sights. So it's more or less for those point blank kind of kills. Come on, buddy. Like that, see? Kind of just walked right past that guy and just sprayed and killed him. Now, the only downfall is, you know, again, it has a 32 round magazine. And that's still pretty good for an SMG. But most SMGs can hold up to like 60 round mags. And so that's the only thing about these ammo conversions. They don't give you the option of having like higher uh, ammo counts for a certain conversion, except for, I believe, the SMG uh, version of the AUG or the AUG. I will do a separate video over that to kind of show you its uh, gun build. But so this is essentially the MPX or the Sig Sauer MPX, I believe is the whole name for it. Uh, this is found in another game called Rainbow Six Siege, and uh, several operators use this, and it's personally one of my favorite looking SMGs. And since you know it's an M4, it has already pretty good base stats to it. You can deck it out for pretty much anything. Again, if you don't want to run the 5 mil on laser or the simple grip tape, then you can throw on the stock to make it look better. I just about died there. Stand yourself up. Or if you want to, you can also take off the stock and make yourself even faster to run around with and you have a more like a rushing kind of play style there it is pretty good it's uh, one of the coolest looking uh, builds that you get again this build has been in the game since the beginning of my launch I believe it was also in the beta if I'm not mistaken but I'm not entirely sure Now I also do like a couple videos previously, I will do a whole class build, which is like more than just like one gun for a certain conversion, but this is usually what I'll be doing. Uh, but you can look at some of the videos I have set up for a whole class build, it shows you like certain play styles and stuff that you could take to kind of synergize with a you know, certain play style. Uh, for example, there's one of them which is the Speed Demon class, uh, which essentially makes you where uh, it gives you the most fastest movement speed you can get. So you can yeah, essentially almost double the amount of speed that most players have uh, at base, you know, is at 100 if you're using a handgun. Uh, anything bigger, like a assault rifle and stuff, then they'll knock it down to like 97 or 98 or whatever. 
uh, it'll be. Uh, but with a handgun, that's the lightest thing you can have, oddly enough, instead of, you know, a combat knife or something. Which wouldn't make more sense. Sentry gun's hot! Now, I believe this gun is a four shot Don't to kill kind of voice. deal since it is now using a 9mm, uh, which is about base damage for like any other SMG. Got a sentry gun on station. Got a veto on station. Ready to deploy. So it's not too bad. It's pretty much like any other SMG, but you know, conversion to it. And it sounds good and it shoots pretty fast too. It's like a little bit faster than this, so. Which is technically the highest uh, SMG that you have besides uh, Practice makes perfect. the Vector, which was recently added. Oh, again, uh, best hip fire accuracy you can get. Uh, it does increase the hip fire accuracy a little bit more when you crouch or lay down. As you can see, it's almost technically touching the dot there. And you can check out my other videos too. There's like a couple of them that has, or actually a pretty good amount of them that revolves around one shotgun because there's so many different ways for you to build it. Uh, is the VOK shotgun or VOK rogue shotgun. And there's a lot of cool stuff you can do uh, recently, uh, I believe like two videos ago since this one's been made. Uh, I go over how to make the Model 680 shotgun or pump action shotgun into a DMR or designated marksman rifle. So it changes up the gun almost completely. So essentially what it would just be is it like a normal DMR but it shoots a lot slower due to, you know, racking another shell in. So I definitely do recommend get uh, showing this gun out, or you know, getting this gun, kind of mess around with it, find the place out that you know fits you. This is the best one for me anyway. If you are going to use it as an SMG, because it does have SMG rounds to it, that's kind of how you would have to fit it. If you want it to be most accurate, or you know, I've been trying to test a certain build for the guns. Uh, for example, let me see if I can. Kill this guy real quick. I'll go over here and I'll show you like what I try to do. I'll put on the 9mm, get the largest barrel which is a stock M16 Grenadier which gives you the most amount of, uh, what is it, uh, bullet velocity for the 9mm rounds. You sell the Merc 4 grip and uh, I guess, you know, add anything else like the 5 milliwatt laser to it. And now, I don't know why that didn't work. Hold up. So now you essentially turn your assault rifle or your SMG back into an assault rifle body, but it has 9mm rounds in it. And you're using the largest barrel so you get the most amount of full uh, velocity out of it. You can also still use the 5 watt laser, the Merc 4 grip, to give you the most amount of hip fire accuracy you can get. And it just hits a little bit less than a normal assault rifle, but you can get it to where it's, you know, been dragged out a little bit more. So if you want to go at longer ranges for this 9mm fire, fan, uh, fire rate, then that's definitely doable. I do be aware there is some uh, horizontal recoil, like side to side bounce. So if you would use this build, I recommend like throwing on... Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and take off the 5 milliwatt and let's uh, go to this, this thing here. Yeah. I guess you can use like the. Not the stock. Where is it? The, the grip. There we go. You can use the grip, put on the Commando 4 grip or something that helps out a lot more. Like, uh, yeah, the f Commando 4 grip will work out. You can put the laser back on for like the 5 mil milliwatt laser. Not aiming stability. What am I doing? Yeah, that that's a waste there. 
Yeah, I guess it's not in that. Yes, I was right. Okay. Let's uh, let's go back to recoil stabilization. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Uh, the muzzle brake for the end of your uh, assault rifle. You can have the muzzle brake for the barrel section or for the muzzles. And uh, that allows it to where there's almost no side to side bounce at all. So now you essentially just made it into a laser. Now there is the game mode or the battle royale mode uh, where people you know have armor and stuff like that. Uh, Warzone. I do not recommend uh, these nine millimeter rounds for your gun. Uh, I mean they'll kill just like any other SMG really in the game, but uh, since it does have a 32 round magazine, I wouldn't really use it at all because you know most SMGs. The only reason why you would really use that. Is because you know they can get 60 rounds uh, or 60 round magazines in them and stuff so they could be so viable you know, for squads and stuff like that uh, for this ammo conversion you don't get that you only get the 32 round mag so just because of that or the limitation of you know not having enough rounds uh, to kill multiple people at once uh, that's the only thing that's holding you back, but if you're not playing in squads, then it's definitely doable. You know, just going after like one guy at a time. But that's essentially what that is, so let me knock it, all the attachments down that made it more of a assault rifle. So, for this build that I you know, I usually would be running. Uh, go to step full rip. I don't care if they kill me, but again, smalls barrel. The Merc 4 grip, the 9mm uh, 32 round magazine, stipple grip tape, and the 5 mm laser. And that, uh, in my opinion, gives you the, the most aggressive playstyle. Again, you can just take off the stock and give you more of a uh, speed increase. Let me put it on the 5 mm laser again. Uh, take the stock, where is that? There it is. You take that off and that's what it looks like. You can get yourself a lot more speed out of that. But if you're doing that, it will take a lot of recoil off your gun, so it's not near as accurate, but if you know you want to be right in front of someone, that's a way to do it. So I hope you guys like uh, like this video. You know, I kind of showed you technically two builds to the game, or two builds to this gun. Uh, one of them is, you know, being the MPX is what originally it was supposed to start out for. And the other one where you can just take the the same nine millimeter rounds and make it to where it's more or less uh, the same as you know the same body as the rifle, but you just get that increased recoil or uh, not increased recoil but less recoil and less damage uh, aspects out of the rounds. So again, I hope you guys like it. Uh, or like this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.